गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड नाइट वेन एवर यू विल वॉच दिस वीडियो सो टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज डेड वेट सेफ्टी वाल सो ओवर हियर आई हैव ड्रॉन दिस एक्सनल व्यू ऑफ योर डेड वेट सेफ्टी वाल विच इज अ माउंटिंग ऑफ दिस बॉयलर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द यूज ऑफ दिस वाल देन वर्किंग देन कंस्ट्रक्शन ईच एंड एवरीथिंग विच इज रिलेटेड विद दैट डेड वेट सेफ्टी वाल so without wasting much time let us start this video i hope you are ready with your pen and paper supposing uh, this type of question will be asked that uh, explain the working principle of dead weight safety valve then how you will start to write first of all you will draw this type of figure which is present on the board then next you will write few important sentences which is number 1 that you can write like this that dead weight safety valve is a mounting of this boiler and that valve is located at the top side of the boiler at the steam portion now as for example if i will draw one boiler suppose that is your horizontal axis boiler and at the top side of the boiler this dead weight safety valve is located and that is located at the steam portion so that that portion having some steam and below that portion water is present so this safety valve is located at the top side of the boiler at the steam portion now next important sentence is what that uh, this valve will provide the safety to that boiler over here safety valve so this valve dead weight safety valve will provide the safety to that boiler now question may arise that how this valve will provide the safety to that boiler so answer is what that supposing uh, supposing that is your boiler now inside of that boiler pressure is suppose 12 bar and that boiler is designed as per the pressure of 5 bar that means 5 bar is a working pressure of this boiler and over here what we can say that pressure inside of the boiler exceeds the working pressure that means if pressure is increased from the working pressure so there may be a chance that boiler may blast or accident may take place so to avoid the blast of the boiler or to um, avoid the accident this type of valve is used which will provide the safety to that boiler with the help of dead weight now question may arise that with the help of dead weight how safety is provided to the boiler so for that purpose i will take one example that at your home pressure cooker is present now pressure cooker is one type of uh, small boiler so in pressure cooker as you know this type of pressure cooker is present and over here handle is present and which is present on a burner on the gas stove so this is one type of small boiler and over here as you know that uh, this type of a small whistle is there so that is your small whistle when inside of the pressure cooker steam temperature of uh, steam is increased so what happened that whistle will move in the upward direction or you can say whistle will blow so what happen whatever extra pressurized steam is there that will be rejected in atmosphere that means now inside of the pressure cooker which pressure is achieved working pressure is achieved because pressure cooker is also designed as per the working pressure same way supposing working pressure is 5 bar that means up to 5 bar that the pressure cooker is safe but when pressure inside of this pressure cooker will increased up to 6 bar so 6 bar means what that uh, pressure inside of the pressure cooker exceeds with the working pressure so what happened at that time that whistle will lift be lifted in the upward direction and extra pressurized steam will be rejected in the surrounding and that is your uh, whistle and whistle is nothing but one type of a dead weight so with the help of this dead weight what we can say that dead weight will provide the safety to that pressure cooker supposing if that uh, whistle is not present or you can say dead weight is not present at that time what happen inside of the pressure cooker when working pressure more than working pressure is produced inside of that cooker working pressure is 5 bar and more than that if pressure is produced so there may be a chance that pressure cooker may blast but it is not happening why because that dead weight in terms of whistle is used so whistle will blow and excess pressure will be released 
that means that whistle will do what that whistle will balance which thing the working pressure of this team whistle will balance the working pressure of this team when uh, that uh, inside of the pressure cooker pressure exceeds the working pressure so what's happened whistle will be lifted so excess pressure will be removed so with the help of that that weight uh, safety is provided to that uh, pressure cooker so similarly over here also we will discuss now after that we will start with the construction so in construction which thing you can write first of all you can say that it has one uh, vertical pipe and from this vertical pipe as you know that it is mounted on the boiler so over here say vertical pipe is present so from this vertical pipe steam will enter inside of this uh, uh, mounting and that pipe vertical pipe is connected with two walls that is your first wall and that is your second wall two walls and both of the valves are present on the valve sheet so this two valve sheet are there so this is your valve sheet after that that two valves and valve sheets are present in one discharge casing so that is known as your discharge casing over here i have written that portion is known as discharge casing now discharge casing means what that due to that pressure when this valve is lifted so over here i have shown the figure that valve is lifted from the valve sheet that is your valve sheet so what happens you will get some gap between valve sheet and valve so what happens from the vertical pipe whatever extra pressurized steam is there that will enter in the in the discharge casing and from the discharge casing that extra pressurized steam will be rejected in the atmosphere after that about that discharge casing one more casing is present that is one more casing is present that casing is known as weight casing and inside of this weight casing dead weights are there or you can say weights are present now that dead weight casing consists of one stop screw so that is your stop screw use of this stop screw is what that that stop screw will keep both of the valve on the vertical pipe that stop screw so somewhere over here stop screw is there that stop screw will do what it will keep the valve on the vertical pipe supposing stop screw is not used so what's happened due to the extra pressure what's happened both of the valve will be thrown away over here in your pressure cooker that whistle is not going to throw on away why because on the top side of the whistle one stop screw is there so that whistle will be lifted up to certain height and after that it will not able to lift so that that whistle may not blow on away due to this stop screw same way that stop screw will do what it will keep that both of the valve on the vertical pipe so that that the valve may not be thrown away now after that uh, that is all about the construction we will start with the working principle so in working principle what we will say that uh, when steam will enter into a steam pipe from the boiler over here boiler is present so from the boiler when steam will enter into a vertical pipe at that time if pressure of the steam is more than the working pressure pressure of the steam is suppose 12 bar then the working pressure working pressure is how much 5 bar so pressure of steam is more than the working pressure at that time what happen both of the valve will be lifted from the valve sheet both of the valve will be lifted from this valve sheet so that some passage is created and that from that passage what happen your steam will be extra pressurized steam will be rejected in the atmosphere acha after that when pressure of the steam achieve its working pressure right now pressure of steam is how much suppose 12 bar so it is lifted and when that 12 bar pressure will decrease up to 5 bar pressure that 12 bar pressure is decreased up to 5 bar pressure that means it is your working pressure so what happen that both of the valves will move in the downward direction and both of the valve will rest on the valve sheet that means this dead weight will do what that dead weight will balance the dead weight will balance the working pressure of the steam and when the pressure of the steam exceeds the working pressure working pressure is 5 and uh, that actual pressure is how much 12 bar so what happen both of the valve will again be lifted in the upward direction again uh, some gap is created between valves and valve sheet so that whatever extra pressurized steam is there that will be rejected with the help of discharge casing into the atmosphere 
So with the help of this dead weight, this valve will provide the safety to that boiler. That is why this valve is known as dead weight safety valve. So that is all about the working principle of this dead weight safety valve. Now I would like to end this video. Uh, once again we will meet in a new video with new topic. Most probably it will be your uh, liver safety valve. So till then read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.